Now, there is a question. How did Hawa or Eve, may peace be upon her, come about? It's a very interesting question and it has a beautiful answer. According to some of the narrations, Adam salam was the only species, the only of his kind, mankind. One, there was no one else. Naturally, he was feeling lonely. Lonely because the angels, there are so many. This, there are so many. Me, I'm only one. So he used to uh, want company. He used to ask Allah for company something that would grant him comfort one day when he got up he noticed someone looking very similar to him what do we learn from this a woman was given to a man as a gift after great prayer mashallah so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really to make us from those who can appreciate that and who can understand it because many people forget this and they don't realize that this woman was actually a gift but let me quickly also remind the sisters, live your lives in such a way that you are like a gift, not a burden. I mean. <laughs> so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this Adam alayhi salam had Hawa standing right next to him. And the Quran says at the beginning of Surah An-Nisa, Allah makes mention of how he created a woman. And he says, we created from him, meaning from Adam, his spouse, his wife, which means Hawa. Now there are certain people who are embarrassed and they say, no, we weren't created from man. Well, why be embarrassed? We were created from dust, from soil. At least you were created from something which is already living. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. There is nothing embarrassing. We are there right now. Let's talk of where we are now. This is history. No need to deny a Sahih Hadith and no need to deny a verse of the Quran. Clearly, it says this in the opening verses of Surah An-Nisa that Allah created man and then he created a woman from the man. So the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu in Sahih al-Bukhari makes mention of the rib of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. There is nothing wrong with being created from a rib. And when the hadith speaks about how a rib is bent and how the top of it is bent and if you try to straighten it, you might crack it. So be very, very careful how you treat your women. I think a lot of the women don't understand that hadith. And they take it personally and they take it wrongly. They think it's an insult. Wallahi, it's not. All it is, it is telling the men folk that be careful how you handle the women. Be very kind to them. Be very tolerant and be very, very patient with them. Because if you want to straighten them like a pin, you might end up cracking them, which is true. You can't have your wife exactly as you want. No, no two human beings are the same. Not at all. You know, when I was young, we were always told the five fingers are not the same. One day my dad came along and he says, well, if you make an effort, they can all be one. You see, you need to bend one and change the other one and do this to the other one. Then you get all of them in one line. So it means an effort is required for us to be on par. There is a give and take. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness.